we all got that one friend, okay? All right, his name was. Don't say his name. <laughs> but it's a cool name, though. All right. Well, okay. It's I'm gonna a... say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the last name. His last name. No. Wait. That's... <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the worst. That's the more can. unique part of the name. <laughs> that's, that's why I love the name. Dra- oh, you know what though? I'm so sorry. We're being I won't rude. say his last We're name. We're being rude. I'll say his social security number. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend, daylight saving time will joyfully shove us into a brighter future. And just in time, because spring has sprung in Los Angeles after an unseasonably cold and rainy winter, the pink trumpet trees are in bloom. Straight people are peeking their heads out of their burrows in search of the season's first cold brew, the very nectar that sustained LA's gay community throughout these cold, dark months. <laughs> what better time then for all of us to swiffer out our cobweb-covered souls with some emotional spring cleaning? Here to help us air out our summer wardrobes of the mind and beat our dusty rugs with a tennis racket. The rugs are the human experience. The tennis racket is comedy. You know them from the hilarious Black Man Can't Jump in Hollywood podcast. Welcome the wonderful Jonathan Braylock and Jerome Milligan. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. I got to do some spring time. Oh, welcome, wow. welcome. Thanks for being here. Hi, hi. Hi. Thanks for being here. Yeah, Thanks I like for the, being here. Look at this. Ooh. Wow. Got what a leather couch in the light. Yeah, it's nice, except for this mess. But everything else is really yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. So That's not great. on my side. My yeah. side's good. Okay. His side's good. Yeah. Huh, His side's good. Mm. All right, well. It's on your side. So. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> How do you I get it. I got the, ro- the bad side. <laughs> you got the, he's, you're both on our, it's both got good sides. This is great. Yeah. I mean, both sides of my face are nice. <laughs> I wanted more support from the audience. They didn't yeah, give it no, to me. What? Nothing. No, didn't no, give it no, to me. They gave no, you nothing. Oh, no, thank you. Don't do that. Oh. <laughs> both of my sides of my face are nice. How dare All you? All I had to do was pander a little bit, and you, I got it. You know what's happening? They're getting into the rhythm of the two of you together, sure. being incredibly in sync. I'm trying to do the same thing. It's oh, like a, it. it's like a, it's like a train. It's like I'm running along a train, right. and I'm gonna get on. Oh, you could jump on. Yeah, mm-hmm. hop on board. Yeah, you know. And here I am. We can squeeze three on this couch. I made it weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start. Let's 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 discuss this. Yeah. What are your thoughts on daylight saving time? How do you feel? How do you feel it's, about it? It's wait. Is it over? Uh, no, it's a technically about to begin. We're going to enter daylight saving you know time. Daylight saving? I thought they were going to end it. I thought they said well, they, they were. They, they, here's what happened. Okay, yeah. Please. It actually got <laughs> snuck into a bill, and then everyone's like, "Wait, we didn't want to do this. Only eight of you wanted to do this. You can't just sneak that shit in. You can't yeah. tell Michigan what time it is without a conversation. That's <laughs> real. <laughs> so it ca- it fell out, but it's people do want to repeal right. it and permanently be in daylight saving time. Right now we're in standard time, which is why it gets light earlier and dark earlier. Right. But we're gonna jump a ha- spring foot. We're gonna fall back. Wait, wait what happens? Do we go back in time or forward? What month time? is it? We're gonna spring ahead. So forward. we're gonna, oh, so we we're go gonna lose an hour, which sucks. But then we get an extra hour of nighttime right. and brightness, just which is good. Keep it that way all year is what I think. Uh, Why? Why no, do you are like are you, going are you a morning back and forth? I want to go to the past. You want to go to the past? Yeah, because think about it. If you go, this has gotten really too deep. But if you go to the past, you can undo stuff. Right, I, and then, I've never heard a black man say they wanted to go to a party. Wait, time out. First off, don't let... First Mal- off, Malcolm's no, with, no. Yeah. First, a black dude right here just like, oh, these are, first off, I'm not going way in the past. Okay. I'm trying to go trying to go a week or two. It was trying not, to play the lotto. I'm just... Okay? I, I truly Damn. don't... I don't think it's safe for literally anyone to go past 91. I don't, <laughs> I don't think anything before that Listen. is good. Like... They're like there, there was like one gay guy on the real world, and they were like, "That's oh, yeah, crazy." That's real. That's, real. that's real. <laughs> No, I'm trying to go back to last week because, because listen, my aunt called me and said my birthday hit in the lotto, and I would have won a bunch of money, and then she was like, "You should play the lotto," and I would go back to last Tuesday, put my birthday in, and I'd be a millionaire right now. <laughs> Science, okay. Time no, travel is no, science. That has absolutely nothing. Time to do travel with is science. science. So just, I've just seen Back to the okay. Future. And so you'd be a millionaire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Technically, thirty, thirty-four million dollars. No, no, now, but had. but here's the thing. Based on what here's here's something you'll also have to do. What, what's happening? Which is the moment you get back, you have to find yourself and kill him. This is true. Because you've gone back a week. Yep. You have not found out about that. You, a week ago, like don't this. know that this conversation is going to yeah. happen. You We're don't know anything now. about it. So you've jumped back a week. 
Wait, and what? you now, your goal yeah. is to win the lotto. But the problem is there can't be two of you. Nope. You can't be two of you. People will want, have questions. It'll be a whole fucking mess. That's so right. you're, so you get to win the lotto. You can do it, but you have to fucking murder yourself mm -hmm. and dispose of the body in a way that doesn't invite questions because no one will believe you that the person you've killed was you. They'll, they'll just throw you in prison. Yeah. What the, what just happened? Okay. Well, what, you, this is what you asked for. You're, no. it's, it's a week ago. Oh, yeah. You're a millionaire yeah. and there's blood all over your fucking oh. car. All I wanted what? was to go. This started with daylight savings. I just wanted to go back <laughs> an hour, then a week, and I got to kill me? You got to kill you. All right, time Damn for my it. second question. Okay. <laughs> wow. How many? You have too many cards. We need Seven. to. <laughs> second question. Okay, good. So are you guys morning people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My life, because I had to kill myself in the past. <laughs> Am I mourning anyone? Uh, oh, uh, I don't damn. think he meant mourning as in, are you mourning people? <laughs> wait, how you? I'm going to go no, ahead. Wait, and, <laughs> there, wait, wait, so, wait. Did everybody know that? I'm going to. Everybody knew how you yeah, said I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. We have truly just met. No, yeah, I'm not no. asking, are you grieving yeah, right now? Yeah, he didn't. You know what? You know what? Didn't get that you know deep. You know what? It was it was because of the, the story about killing myself. Kill yeah. You go ahead. You answer first. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to see how you answer. How long have you been here? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got it. You got it. Yeah. Uh, I have nothing funny to follow up with on that. I, uh, no, I, uh, I like the evening. <laughs> oh, wait. So you... <laughs> So you meant do I like the morning, like morning time? Yes. Yeah, like like oh, the shit. like the part like like you know, like you know, you know, like breakfast. Yo. <laughs> like when we have breakfast. I meant like breakfast time. You knew that? Yes. You know, morning, <laughs> sunshine, birds chirping, breakfast. You know what I'm talking about. You know about breakfast. I mean, I love breakfast. Yeah, so you we love breakfast. Yo, at no point did I think you know what? Keep he going. I'm here. I'm back. Wanted We're to ready. know if you liked former NBA star Alonzo Morning. <laughs> I, by the way, I was told backstage that comedy people did not like uh, sports, but a lot of people laughed at that joke, and I, yeah, I like that. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> sports, babe. Uh, oh God, you planning on doing any spring cleaning? <laughs> what do you think that means, Gerard? <laughs> No, no, you you think I mean like the, like inside of a clock, <laughs> like like the little the little thing that you, like inside of a watch. First off, I know. So I had two thoughts that okay. went in my head. It was real fast. The first one was, first one was, oh, he means like clean the house. Yeah. yeah. The second one was, does he mean do I want to kill somebody? <laughs> and it is. Like, like my a mind, euphemism, like, yeah, like my do some goes, spring cleaning. It's got to be the first because the second one is too wild, and no one's gonna. So I will clean my house. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna clean, cause, cause spring is spring is. Oh, do I cry? <laughs> there are literal <laughs> tears in his eyes for the because for I, listeners. I thought the thought, and I was like, there's an audience. People are gonna be like, man, what is he gonna say? Yeah, I'm gonna clean my house on March, <laughs> March 22nd. You have a date picked out? That's what I spring say, hits. I gotta tell That's you something. True. I believed you until you gave us a date. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody there, dates yeah. that kind of thing. There was also a hesitation in the way I that was I trying to think. Spring is spring is March twenty second. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mar March twentieth. Okay, twentieth. You know what? Spring is in March. It is. Yes. Thank you. That's all. I'm yeah. in the month. In, in like a lion, out like a lamb. Right. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got to clean out my closet. <laughs> I got. Cool. I got to get rid of some. Some. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pack. Get rid of some clothes. That's what I'm gonna do. I want to do that too. Where you? Where you took your clothes? Probably like Goodwill. I always go to Goodwill, but there's people outside the Goodwill, and they like flag you down before you can pull in the parking lot off of Beverly. So I give my stuff to them because I went in one time, and they said, and I promise you, they were like, that's fucked up. And I was like, I didn't, they give you a write off. And so I bought my stuff and gave it to them. They're like, cool. I and they want me up. Shout out. It was to real. The people. That was just a real story. I, you know? I agree. And my feeling is if I'm within half a mile, of the goodwill, and someone wants the bag of clothes, I want them to have it. Same. Because Same. I have never, I respect deeply the people who have their lives together that they're taking the write off receipt for the mm -hmm. garbage bag of old clothes and remembering where that was and taking it in yeah. their car and then to their home yeah. and then presumably some kind of a folder. Right. Yeah, yeah. But that's not my life. Yeah, that's real. Never has been. That's real. <laughs> never has been. Also, it's not a lot of, you're not about the money, but it's not a lot of money you get from the write off. Right. You know, so you might as well just give from your heart. 
Not yeah. for the receipt. You yeah, know? don't get for the receipt. I like that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, that was just out of the head. Seven people you know? agree with that. So, I mean, they give. Don't do this. <laughs> no, what? They, the seven clapped because they were they were trying to give from the heart, I not for the receipt. I, yeah. That's what I said. Giving from the heart to your statement. <laughs> yeah. From Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> so, time to get out those mops, everyone. Wait if a you, second. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a dead body. <laughs> Because, lest we forget, this segment is very clearly about what? Spring cleaning. Spring cleaning. <laughs> That's <laughs> what this is about? <laughs> and yes. you know it, and we both know it. Yeah. We talked about I'm ready. spring cleaning. Yeah, we I'm ready. Yep. Yeah. A whole bunch of spring cleaning. <clears throat> so we're going to help tonight's audience scrub off the musty residue of their past selves and emerge fresh and clean into 2023. Anyone who wants to cleanse their dirty laundry from this winter by getting something off their chest, please raise your hand. Remember, this is your dirty laundry, not, say, your co-workers or your boss's dirty laundry. We are scouring our own filthy souls, not dumping spaghetti sauce and red wine on them like this is an OxyClean commercial. So if you like something you want to get off your chest, you can do it anonymously and make up a name. This is your moment, and we'll uh, comment or help you through it. Uh, can we bring the lights help. up? We're here to help. And Brian is out there. And can we raise the lights Oh, we get to see? Yeah. What? No lights? Uh -huh. oh, but the you know audience what? was so, so wow. scared. They're I, like, no. Honestly, They're truly, like, uh -uh. oh, God. No. I, I hear yes. you. Listening, taking the feedback, lights stay off. <laughs> now air your dirty laundry. <laughs> Hands up, though, so Brian can see you. We got a hand right there. Hi. Uh, all right, time for some spring cleaning. What do you need to get off your chest? Um, so I had a friend who was my friend for like, really close friend mm -hmm. for like five years and we went through a lot together and she just all of a sudden stopped returning my texts <sighs> and yeah. I guess what I want to get off my chest is like fuck you man <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. that was a really yeah. shitty way that's, to end a beautiful friendship that sucks that yeah. really sucks um, she loved alcohol more than she like liked our friendship. I guess. Wait, hold on a second. Well, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Wait a second. Seems like seems like wait. You may oh, you may have stumbled across a villain in her own story. <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. Uh, wait a second. Um, I was gonna say, uh, uh, Jonathan, have you ever been ghosted by a friend? Have I ever been ghosted by a friend? Um, the thing is. I've been ghosted by like acquaintances, you sure. know, because mm. like I feel like when I uh, I've never been ghosted by like a re a close friend. I have been ghosted by people who I thought we were friends, mm. uh, uh, and then I like showed up to L.A. and I was like, I'm here, and they didn't respond, and I was like, Oh, <laughs> that's where our friendship is, nowhere. Um, so I did I cut that. them out of my life. I'm here, John. Thanks, Jara. Wow. I appreciate that. Yeah. Wow. We yeah, are friends. Yeah, friends. friends. Yeah, there you go. Hey, you're friends. Hey, your friends. Your friends. And if you, you ever ghost me. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes um, I've had to go to a wedding and realize I'm being seated with the second cousins and the old high school oh, teachers to be like, yeah. oh, not as close as I thought. Yeah. Question for you. <laughs> yes. Have you considered sending a message that says, I'm worried about you. I thought we were close. It makes me sad to know that we're not friends. And if you need anything and if you're going through something, I'm here no matter what. Yeah, I essentially sent her that. All right. Well, mm. then then that does suck. All right. Yeah. Next person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're back on board with you. Well, yeah, yeah. Damn. Draw, have you ever been ghosted by a friend? I've not. Oh, crap. I think I've I've been the friend that goes oh, to the. Friend. That's Wait, tough. no, but hear me out. Let me hear me out. Hear me out. They okay. sucked. <laughs> no, they didn't suck. You ever have a friend? Who, who like calls you? <laughs> you have a friend? I had a friend, okay, it was a good friend from like middle school and we were friends for a while. Mm -hmm. But he would just call and the thing is, I was like, oh man, if I said I was here, he would just show up and just try to come in the back. Like he would just do stuff. So I'm like, hey man, I'm about to go see a movie. He'd just show up to the movie. I could be on a date. And he'd just show up to the movie. Or one time, one time I had a birthday party, but I only could have four people because my mom said you got to pick your four closest friends. Okay, okay. it was it wasn't I'm me. Realizing that this this is an okay. What this happened is you in middle school? I just we thought this was an adult person. We did. Story. We all <laughs> thought that. Well, no, no, I wouldn't ghost somebody as an adult. I yeah, because you know the term ghosting didn't really. <laughs> But this is, we all you're, got that you're one a friend. Young, you're a young we man, but you're not that young. You know I'm what I mean? We all got that one friend, okay? All right, his name was... Don't say his name. <laughs> but it's a cool name, though. All right. Well, okay. It's I'm going to say, say, say the last name. His last name... No! Wait, that's... <laughs> 
<laughs> that's the that's the worst. That's the thing more you unique <laughs> part of the name. Yes. <laughs> But that's why I love the name. Draw, oh, you boy. know what, though? I'm so sorry. We're being rude. I won't rude. say his last name. We're being rude. I'll say his social security number. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, the last name is so cool. You ever meet somebody with a name so cool? you like, damn. Yeah. You got a cool ass name. Yeah. You got a name like that. But it's okay. Fine. But Fine. So, but I haven't you know ghosted what, though, anyone. But we, I feel as though I was rude because we discovered midway that that was a story from your childhood. But we still want to hear the end. You had four people to pick. Your mom was taking you perhaps to a Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, so, so we had a place called we had a place called Discovery Zone. Yeah. In oh DC. yeah. DC. Discovery Zone. I okay. That. But Discovery Zone now as an adult, they used to charge like twenty dollars or something for like a kid if you had a party. So I had to have four friends. So I picked. I can't say no names. No, right? why? I'm mean, the names. Because you need the people need to know the names of the right. people. So Fine, I won't say the names. I got to pick Mark, mm -hmm. uh, Chuck, sure, Jamal, mm -hmm. and Leroy. <laughs> Leroy. I, I I do appreciate the names got blacker. I do. <laughs> I, <laughs> but but I had but I had to leave. I had to leave. Derek. Todd. Todd. Okay. <laughs> but Todd found out and Todd showed up. Well, Todd was hurt. How about my thing is And then did your did your mom pay for him to come in? Yes! Oh, that's nice of you. No, it ain't. You know, cause you know what happened? <laughs> my mom petty. My mom paid and she was super nice about it. But she was like, remember when we was going to KB Toys? <laughs> Todd took your KB Toys. <laughs> <laughs> that is that's actually, that is it's, perfectly petty. It's so petty. <laughs> like, I didn't tell Todd to come because I didn't tell anybody at recess, right? Because right? I was like, hey, man, this is a secret. <laughs> this is a secret party. My, I gave you a fly because my mom gave me, like, little cards. It was, like, Willy Wonka um, tickets. So we had, like, little Willy Wonka tickets. That is so sweet right? and sad. I think perhaps it's time for a second question. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, Hi. God. What's, what, um, what, 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 let's do some spring cleaning. What do you got? So um, I moved to California 10 years ago for a job that I believed very strongly in. And I started to become disillusioned during the pandemic. And I realized that the company that I had worked for my entire career and really respected was like just like every other trillion dollar company and actually really bad and anti-union. And I'm pretty ingrained in it. And... I'm also like not doing a ton. <laughs> so I have a lot of free time um, and I want to do something meaningful with my life. I have some serious golden handcuffs and I can't afford to live where I live without working for this company. Um, but I really want to do something that matters with the time that I have. I have to wiggle my mouse from nine to five, but I can do things on my laptop. Uh, what can I do to be better for the world when the world is so messed up right now? God, that was beautiful. Whoa. So, that first of all, um, do you have a Roomba? <laughs> My because I think if you just put the mouse on the Roomba, <laughs> it'll move the thing around. It'll jiggle. You just got to get something jiggling. I, I hear that. Mm -hmm, I get mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. I get that. So, your question is... While I quiet quit from <laughs> my job for this mega conglomerate, uh -huh. what can I do during the day to change the world? And I would say your question is, what can I do during the day to change the world? <laughs> and uh, good luck to you. I think you're asking the right question. I think you're asking the right question. Um, hmm. Any thoughts? I mean, I, I think uh, the way that I honestly go about it is there's o you can only make an impact you know, in one, I, that's not true, but I would focus on a specific thing. Just like find a cause that you really, really care about and then find a organization that does really great work in that. You can donate your golden handcuff money there <laughs> and also donate your time to it. So like, uh, what's that? Yeah, go to votesaveamerica.com and sign the All fuck right. up. Oh yeah, look at that. Thank you for that Plug. suggestion that I obviously should have come up with on my own. Plug. Come on, John. <laughs> I'm wearing the wow. fucking sweatshirt. I'm like, I don't know what people can do to help. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I started a, we started a whole goddamn organization. Go to votesaveamerica.com. <laughs> Edit the fucking thing out where I said I didn't know what to do. We got to fix this. <laughs> don't tell people I forgot for a second. <laughs> this is supposed to be a cool vibe in here. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh shit. Uh, sabotage the company from the inside. <laughs> yes! I didn't yes! want to do it! Sabotage him! <laughs> yeah. I don't know what company it is, but god damn it, you go inside, you, you wiggle the keyboard and shit, <laughs> fuck them up! Hell yeah! yeah. And then go that. vote Save America. There we go, we did it. Yeah. Thank you. May, Thank you. Let's do one more. May, may I say one more thing? Uh, uh, we'll okay. see. I, 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 I got a Tesla at the same time that oh. you did. No, no, no. I went on Redbubble. I got an Elon Musk sucks bumper sticker. I uh-huh. have it on the back of my car. It's been very effective. Yeah, well, um, he's going to take your goddamn brakes yeah. out. So. <laughs> uh, Wait, but you still bought the Tesla, though? It's so hard. If I saw oh. an Elon Musk sticker on the back of a Tesla, I would think that person was being ironic. Yeah. Right? Like, just like, haha. And I'm like, what? No, here's <laughs> couple oh, things, shit, couple things you can't do ironically. What's up, y'all? Uh, eat something, drive a car, tell a racist joke. They can't be done ironically. <laughs> You're just doing the thing. Your bumper sticker doesn't help. Let's go to someone else. <laughs> I agree. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just it's the I feeling I have. <laughs> but I think you're great. Yeah. I hope you take that that blood money and do something good with it. Sabotage. Uh, uh. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? And what, what, what? Let's do some spring cleaning. Hi. Uh, my name is Tracy, and uh, I've had a very unfulfilling sex life lately. Oh mm. shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is real. It's not a clock. Hey, this is real. real. <laughs> Uh, this real. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's up? Uh, yeah. So, um, I guess I went through a breakup like last year, early last year, mm-hmm. and then I, um, you know, I've been going on on dates. Uh, and then the last person that I really had an interest in, like I was really like kind of in love with this person, mm. and they had sex with me and ghosted me. Uh, so. Oh, that's uh, tough. Uh, and that's yeah. the first person you were in love with since the long relationship. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't count. You're right. That's just your brain. That's just your brain. You're yeah. all right. Yeah, you, you don't know, worry about that guy. You let that dude. Or that person. They don't matter. But then, the like first the one, you're just that's the first one you're just gonna glom onto, like a <laughs> like a like a barnacle on a ship. The ship can be any ship. The barnacle doesn't care how nice a ship it is. You're just like, oh my god, a ship. You, then you gotta fall off and become a swan. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm saying, Hell the, yeah. The, 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 yeah it, that's a good ghost. You're good. That wasn't going to work. That was the rebound. You're fine. I have to keep telling myself that yeah. or I'll go crazy. Yeah. 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 Um, and, and so then I tried hooking up with somebody just like to get something right. out there because mm-hmm. I was in a terrible rut. And uh, just two pumps and done. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> hey, so oh, much. shit. Damn. Um, <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, that, <laughs> you know, I heard in, 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 in France, that's a compliment, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's like a. So it's another like another a, way to look oh at it. Oh man, I'm so excited to be here. Um, you know, but you know when that happens, the next time that happens, and it's not to cut you off. I learned this. Okay. I learned this in. So we had camp. We had camp. <laughs> No, I'm trying to say it in a good way. We, when I was in high school, we had counselors that were like young and kind of like right, right out of college. And I had a counselor who was like, hey, man, every man has a BDR. And I was like, what does that mean? He's like, that's a bad dick report. And that's when you get a two-pump situation. And he goes, if you do that, you cannot be a selfish man. You have to eat until you can recuperate. Because no one, his big thing was like, no one should go to bed sad. Okay, so the next know. time that happens, you should just grab his ass by the neck and say, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, you not done here, sir," yeah. and then you push his head down. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it was it was a dead agree. thing he you said. BDRs, you know. I'm I'm gonna go back in the past and tell my past self that. There you right. go, Thank time you. travel. Yeah, and <laughs> we brought it back. It's full time circle. travel. Y'all and thought look, it was a game. I, and look, uh-huh. I just say um. And, and, in, and in conclusion, be open to love. And <laughs> should we do one more? Let's do one more. We have, let's go to. <laughs> or do you want to anonymize it? Yeah. <laughs> Ultimate Jewish guilt. Let's go to Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate Jewish guilt. Yeah. I lost my mother's ashes. We were spring cleaning, and we thought we knew where they were. They're not, th- my dog and my mother are gone. <laughs> and, and, I'm, and I'm sorry to ask this, were, were your dog and mother in one? They were next to each other, in the closet. In the closet, side by side. Yeah. So this is more of a story about a, a 
too strong of a spring cleaning. <laughs> yes. How recently did this happen? The passing or the loss? No, no, the, the, the losing of the ashes. <laughs> we realized it like two weeks ago when we were cleaning. And you can't, and they're gone. We've looked everywhere. We cannot find them. Oh. Well, <laughs> they weren't really in there, you know. <laughs> so it's kind of okay. It was really kind of a totem of remembrance. So maybe you can like call something else that and then remember <laughs> that the, the, the physical <laughs> dust was nothing. Just a way of making ourselves feel better <laughs> about the loss of a soul which can't be found in the physical body after the thing, death. The thing is, <laughs> more <laughs> the, the thing hold on one sec. You looked up no, so no, terrified. Yeah, he, he looked up like, he um, don't, yeah. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Stop. There was, there was a, saying, a certain cry of help in the voice. As a, I'm just I, saying, I have, I have the approach of a Klingon. Once you're dead, <laughs> out the side of the fucking airlock. Yeah. You're gone. Sorry. I will say, I will say though, to your to your um, very uh, uh, unfeeling point, <laughs> um, I do. Yeah, I think that. I mean, like, why? But why not, though? Right? Why not? It have another thing to remember them by, because ultimately that is what you were doing, which is just remembering them, and then maybe having them in a place of more, I don't know, honor, I guess, so that you don't lose it in the next spring cleaning. <laughs> Which hey, is not your fault. And also, um, this has been an ad for Apple AirTags. <laughs> and we want to thank Apple AirTags <laughs> for sponsoring Love It or Leave It. Don't lose something important to you, like your car keys or your dog's ashes or your mother's ashes or both. <laughs> Apple AirTags. You can also use it to follow a woman. Hello? I, I, got, a th I got a theory. Yeah. I got a theory for you. Oh, no. No, don't say, oh, God, I ain't <laughs> saying nothing yet. It's for real. Let's hear it. They ghosts. Oh. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. Ooh. Okay? I like hear where me this out. is going, I think. Because if, if, if the, the, the metal tin is gone, no sign. You don't, see, you don't see ashes anywhere, no sign. They in the house, all right? <laughs> like, they in the house. When you're like, hey, what's that? Is somebody downstairs? Yeah, they downstairs. <laughs> Okay, when well, you're like, the mailman is like, hey, you got a new dog? No, it's your old dog. Okay, all right? When well, you're like, who keeps telling me how to clean the house? It's your mom and your ear being like, you really not gonna scrub that floor like that? That's what I'm saying, they in the house. Yeah, when, you feel, when you feel something furry move against the side of your leg, that's your mom. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Too much? Cut Don't that. help me Cut with that. <laughs> I, I got it confused. The old guy. I, I okay. fucked it up. I fucked it up. <laughs> um, they in the house stuff. Uh, and I just want to go back to what I said earlier and say as well, Betsy, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm sympathetic. And even though what I said was maybe um, callous. Um, I guess that was the ultimate ghosting. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Y'all on a yeah. roll yes. today. Okay. Okay. Betsy. What? Wow. And here's the thing. Wow. As the old saying goes, your mother's ashes are always in the last place you look. Uh, man, everybody part of yeah. the show. Mike, that was great. Yeah. That was great. Shoot. You okay? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Just take a second. <laughs> take a second. It's okay. Um, what a deep spring cleaning. Yeah. And this was a segment about spring cleaning. Yay. Thank you so much to Jonathan Jara. This was Yay. so much fun. They'll be back, but... Go listen to Black Men Can't Jump in Hollywood. Well, you guys stick around. You guys stick around. You guys stick around. That was great. <laughs>